Tuscan steelhead trout. So steelhead trout looks a lot like salmon. We're gonna get straight into it. I already have some water boiling on the stove for my rice. The boil in the bag minute rice, cause it's simple. So here we have our steelhead trout. Like I said, it looks a lot like salmon. So of course we're gonna remove our skin first. I usually like to find the parts of the skin where they're already kind of lifted up. Like, let me show you. You see how it's already separated right here? And then I found a piece in the corner that's already separated. That way I can get a good grip on it to start off. So first I'll just start to slowly separate it. Always want to have you a good fillet knife that way you can lay flat on your board just like this you see how it bends you lay it flat and you slide it straight through get that clean cut you always want to cut towards your skin and away from your meat Do the same thing with the second one. Keep your trash bag on the side just because you don't want to throw like your um your fish scraps into the trash can because it'll start to smell and make your house stink. So just put them in a separate bag that way once you're done cooking, you can just go ahead and take it out. This is when you go flat and you just go straight through. Wash your hands. So next, just gonna cut my trout into smaller pieces. Now when you have pieces like this where one side is really thick and one side is really thin. You do want to go ahead and cut that thin side off because this will be way overcooked before this even is done. So you can do something else with this. It could be a garnish, but yeah, you just want to go ahead and cut this off so it won't be that uneven cooking. Now, if you have some extra bones left in your fish, you want to go ahead and remove those. Now, when you remove them, you just want to pull them the same direction that they're already facing because if you try and pull them the opposite direction, you will tear your fish. Next, we're going to season our fish. Got some smoked paprika, some garlic. Garlic and herb seasoning and some Southwest Chipotle seasoning. Make sure you're seasoning your food on both sides. Just because you season it on one side does not mean it will be seasoned. It's just gonna taste good on that one side and the other side is gonna be very bland. I 
And once you've seasoned your fish, you're ready to move on to your stove top. So as you guys can see, I already have my water boiling in the back. Um, however, whenever I make like rice or noodles or anything, I don't like to use plain water, but I also don't like buying three containers of chicken broth. So I do use bouillon cubes because I'm pescatarian. I'm using vegetable bouillon cubes. I'm gonna go ahead and place one of them into the water. You really don't need that many. As long as your water is salty, one is fine. Then we're gonna let that um that vegetable bouillon cube dissolve. While we do that, we're gonna go ahead and heat up our pans. Now I have two pans. So this pan is for our regular fish. This pan is for our special fish. So I recently bought some can of butter from Whaley's Butter. I'll put their um, Instagram name in the video. I'm going to let you guys know how it turns out once I finish eating. So once your pans are hot, you can go ahead and add your oil. So me personally, I like to put salt on my food while it's in the pan because putting salt on your food prior to cooking it can dry it out if you're not about to cook it right away. Now that my stock is boiling, I'm going to go ahead and put my rice in there and just let that cook. And to determine when I flip my fish, I usually look at the side. So you see how it's pink up here, like a really bright pink, and then it's a pale pink at the bottom. So the more pale pink I have, the closer I am to flipping. Once your butter melts inside of your pan, you want to go ahead and spoon your melted butter over your trout. Go ahead and let that finish cooking. A few moments later. Once your trout is done, you want to go ahead and take it out the pan and place it to the side. You want to remove your, um, your pans from your eyes and go ahead and turn them down a little bit because you don't want to burn your garlic. Garlic burns really, really fast. So you want to go ahead and turn that down so they can go ahead and cool down where your pans are cooling down. So you can go ahead and put your garlic in. All right, now you can go ahead and place your pans back on your eyes. And then go ahead and heat back up. And go ahead and add a teaspoon of garlic. garlic you want to add in your sun-dried tomatoes go 
go ahead and add in a few artichoke hearts. Go ahead and add some more butter in here. Okay. So my phone died in the middle of me recording. So you guys didn't get to see me adding my heavy cream because I didn't even know it died. But I will be adding heavy cream into this one also. I have to wait for my pans to heat back up because I took them off the heat. Didn't want to continue cooking with the video off. So while I wait for this one to heat back up, you guys will actually be able to see me add the heavy cream into this one. Give it a little moment to dry out a little. Go ahead and add my heavy cream in here. Now, like I was saying before, my phone died. You don't really need too much heavy cream because, again, you're not making a pasta. I mean, you can if you want to, but I'm not making a pasta. I'm actually eating my Tuscan trout with rice. So I don't want too much sauce. Even though you can really never have too much sauce, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it some time to simmer and reduce down a little bit before you go ahead and add your spinach into this. Now, however much spinach you want to add, that's totally up to you. But keep in mind that spinach does shrink. So if you want a lot of spinach, you're going to have to put a lot in your pot. spinach So once your spinach is almost withered up, you want to go ahead and add your trout back to your pan. You want to spoon sauce over it.
and that is all for today's video i'm gonna put a picture of the finished product at the end of this video you guys can follow me on both of my instagram pages my regular page and my food page and tune in next time thank you guys for watching